The purpose of education is to turn mirrors into windows. As future educators, are you willing to turn mirrors into windows if you are to do it for people who many have called the uneducatable? They say education is one thing no one can take away from someone. But what happens when life hasn't started yet but it already deprived you of one? Leonardo da Vinci claimed learning never exhausts the mind. But what happens if it does? Let us know further our understanding of those exhausted, the people with learning disabilities. Students with learning disabilities can be seen as normal and accepted by society, but they have a disorder that affects their understanding, spoken and written language, and mathematical calculations. Students having this kind of disability takes to take longer to develop and may need support to develop new skills, understand complicated information, and interact with other people. These disorders are the result of actual differences in the way the brain processes and understands and uses information. Everyone has differences in learning abilities, but many people with learning disabilities have severe problems that persist throughout their lives. One of the learning disabilities is dyslexia. What is dyslexia? Dyslexia is a learning disorder that involves difficulty of reading due to the problems identifying speech sounds and relating it to the letters and words. It is also known as reading disability. Dyslexia is a result of individual differences in the areas of the brain which process language. The primary difficulties of students identified as having dyslexia occur in phonemic awareness and manipulation, single word decoding, and reading fluency and spelling. Secondary consequences of dyslexia may include written expressions. These difficulties are unexpected for students' age, level of education, or cognitive abilities. Additionally, there is often a family history for similar difficulties. A young person with dyslexia may find it difficult to tell left from right, reversing letters and numbers when reading, lack fluency compared to children their age, become tired and frustrated in reading, struggle with rhyming, associating sounds with letters, sequencing and ordering sounds. Out of all the learning disabilities, dyslexia is known to be the most common neurocognitive disorder affecting 20% of the population. A movie entitled Every Child is Special is a great representation of a child having dyslexia. The story follows an eight-year-old boy, Ishan, who's having difficulty of keeping up with his academic responsibilities due to his learning disability. Ishan! I said page 38, chapter 4, paragraph 3. Read the first sentence and point out the adjectives. Page 38, Ishan! Adit Laba, just help the boy. Come on, the rest of you, look into your books. Read the first sentence and tell me what the adjectives are. Okay, come on. Let's all mark the adjectives together. Just read the sentence for me. Just read the sentence, Ishan. Natural. <laughs> Speak in English. The letters are dancing. <laughs> they are dancing, are they? Okay, then read the dancing letters. Trying to be funny? Read the sentence loud and proper. I said loud and proper, Ishan. Loud and proper.
You want to leave as well? Who is laughing here? Who wants to follow him? I don't want to hear a titter in my class. Look at your books. Shameless boy. Open your books now. Who's going to tell me what the adjectives are? <laughs> I don't want a sound from this class. Yes. <laughs> According to his experience, Ishan has a hard time to read because the letters are moving and dancing. The way he writes his letters and numbers are sometimes inverted. Because of this, he is at risk of repeating his grade level. Out of the blue, a new art teacher, Ram Shankar Nikumb, started to work at Ishan's school. Nikumb noticed Ishan's difficulty to read and write. He then discovers he has dyslexia. Nikum relates to the child since he himself has the same experience on his younger days. So that he knew how to help Ishan deal with his learning disability. Nikum helped Ishan that led to his improvement to read and write. And they also established a great band together. He then discovers that Ishan has potential when it comes to art. Nikum approached the school head to have a painting event to show the school what Ishan is capable of. On the said event, Ishan competed with different artists including Nikum. At the end of the story, Ishan was hailed as the winner. His mentor and family are very happy for the result. What you have witnessed is an inspiring story of a boy who has dyslexia, Ishan. So as what you have noticed, Ishan is a learner who has a special needs in education. However, because he is gifted of a teacher who knows how to educate him using various ways and strategies, Ishan um, has been successful in learning academic lessons that is taught in school. Exploring and researching if what dyslexia really is, I have learned that, dys that dyslexia is not a disease but a disorder. Some cases are caused by traumatic experience and some cases are genetically inherited from parents or other family members. However, we must know that dyslexia is just developing as we grow up. However, despite the fact that dyslexia is a disorder that has no treatment, we must know that there are various strategies and interventions that we can do to lessen the effect of the disorder. Just like what the teacher has done to help Ishan in um, overcoming his struggles in his academic studies. Did you know that there are some famous individuals who are diagnosed with dyslexia? They are Jennifer Aniston, Richard Branson, Cher, Anderson Cooper, Tom Cruise, Amanda Gorman, Salma Hayek, Tom Holland, Erwin Magic Johnson, Keanu Reeves, Octavia Spencer, Steven Spielberg, Tim Tebow, and Henry Winkler. <laughs>